Unit 1. What's your address? City. Country. Language. Tower. Modern. Villa. Building. District. One. English. Two. Teacher. Three. Pupil. Four. Parents. Five. Mother. Six. Doctor. Seven. Tower. Eight. Busy. One. My parents live in a small village. Two. Does Linda like living in the city? Three. The mountain is so big and beautiful. Four. My brother is a factory worker. Five. We often go to the theatre at the weekend. My name is James. I have moved to Scotland to study. Now, I am living with the Smiths family. Since I got here, I've been really busy with the studying and making new friends. I speak English all the time here. We're a real mix of nationalities. Chinese, Russian, Thai, Italian, Spanish, Brazilian, but we all speak in English. My host family is really nice. Mr. Paul and Mrs. Susan are very friendly and kind. Their children are called Lewis and Amy. They're both students at a primary school. They're so cute. Unit 2 I always get up early. How about you? Jogging Often Football Never Homework Breakfast Sunday Sometimes. One. Routine. Two. Daily. Three. Often. Four. Project. Five. Partner. Six. Shopping. Seven. Dinner. Eight. Swimming.
one. Nam usually goes jogging in the morning. Two. Mai likes reading books in the library. Three. Do you like surfing the internet? Four. My sister often listens to English songs when she learns English. Five. Does James often play football with his friends? <music> Sam's typical day. My name is Sam. My typical day starts at seven. After having breakfast, I pack my school bag and ride to school. At school, I have many different subjects like maths, English, music, and history. I usually play badminton and sometimes chat with friends during break time. My last lesson ends at eleven thirty. I ride home and have lunch with my family. I take a nap for two hours, then I play sports. After that, I help Mum prepare the dinner. After dinner, I read fairy tales and do my homework. I go to bed at ten o'clock. Unit three. Where did you go on holiday? Foreigner. Family. Grandparents. Holiday. Motorbike. Cinema. Factory. President. One. Dangerous. Two. Evening. Three. Happiness. Four. Beautiful. Five. Wonderful. Six. Holiday. Seven. Statement. Eight. Badminton. One. Where did she go on her holiday? Two. My family stayed in a small hotel. Three. There is a beautiful garden behind my house. Four. Did Tony play volleyball well? Five. Tom and Carla come from Canada. My name is Brenda. I live in New York, USA, with my family. On my last summer holiday, my family took me to Canada. We went there by plane. When we got there, we stayed in a hotel near Niagara Falls. It was amazing. We wore raincoats and hats to see the falls. We also met a boy from Germany. His name is Matthew. 
We all could speak English, so we made friends and spent a lot of time together. Unit 4 Did you go to the party? Water Flower Invite Repeat Party Complete Comic Grammar One Cartoon Two Repeat Three Garden Four Complete Five Birthday Six Invite Seven Party Eight Notebook One Listen and repeat the sentence Two do you like going for picnics? Three. There are lots of beautiful pictures in this room. Four. Did you invite Fong to your birthday party yesterday? Five. I have a new ruler and two notebooks. Today is Mary's birthday party. She's preparing for the party with her mother. They are going to buy sweets, candles and a roll of film for Mary's camera. They're also going to buy a new dress for Mary. At home, Mary's mother is making a big round cake, some lemonade and orange juice. Mary is calling her cousins and friends to invite them to the party. Her father is busy too. He's decorating the living room with balloons and flowers. <music> Unit 5 Where will you be this weekend? Beautiful Countryside Wonderful Weekend City Country Castle Basketball One Countryside Two Factory Three Island Four Village Five Weather Six Different Seven Souvenir Eight Holiday One 
one. Mary bought some souvenirs on her holiday to Paris. Two. Did you see any castles in France? Three. The weather is cool and cloudy. Four. There are more than four hundred workers in this factory. Five. I love my village because it's beautiful and quiet. The beach. Going to the beach is a lot of fun. At the ocean, you can see colorful fish and different kinds of birds. If the weather is warm enough, you can even go for a swim. Most beaches have a lot of space to run, play, and build sandcastles, fly a kite, and have a picnic. When you run on the sand, be careful that jellyfish may sting you. The mountains. Visiting the mountains is very exciting. You can see beautiful tall trees and many different kinds of green plants. If you watch carefully and quietly, you may even see a deer, a squirrel, or a snake. If you feel strong, you might go for a long hike on a trail, or even climb to a mountain top. There is plenty of space to play frisbee, eat lunch outdoors, or play hide and seek. At night, you can build a bonfire. Be careful of the mosquitoes. Unit 6 How many lessons do you have today? 1. How many books do you have? I have 5. 2. How many lessons does she have? She have 4. English, Maths, Vietnamese, and music. 3. How many pencils did you buy? I bought five. 4. How many cats does he have? He has two. Five. How many pens does he have? He has four. One. How many crayons do you have? I have ten. Two. How many rubbers do you have? I have two. Three. How many dogs does he have? He has four. Four. How many cats does she have? She has one. Five. How many stamps did he buy? He bought five. Hello, everybody. 
I am Nem from Rose Primary School. I go to school five days a week, from Monday till Friday. I have lots of subjects at school, such as mathematics, science, IT, music, and art. Look at my timetable. I have maths every day except for Friday. On Monday, I also have IT. I just have IT once a week. I have science on Tuesday and Wednesday. About music and art, well, I have both of them on Thursday and Friday. They are my favorite subjects. I have to learn English and PE too. And I have English on Wednesday and PE on Tuesday. Unit Seven. How do you learn English? One. How do you learn English vocabulary? I write new words on paper and read them aloud. Two. How do you learn English grammar? I do grammar exercises. Three. How do you practice speaking? I talk to my American friends. Four. How do you practice listening? I listen to English songs. One. How do you go to the zoo? I go by bus. Two. How do you learn reading? I read English comic books. Three. How do you learn writing? I write letters to my English friends. Four. Why do you learn English? Because I want to be an English teacher. Five. How often do you listen to English songs? When I'm free. Four steps to speak English. Being in an English environment, the best way to learn English is to speak as much as possible. It's better to speak English with someone. So, if you can, live in an English-speaking country. Getting into the habit of speaking in English. Don't translate from your own language into English; it will slow you down. Recording yourself. This will help you know if your pronunciation is correct or not, or it gives you a great chance to know what you need to improve. Singing in English. It's fun and relaxed to sing in English, so let's learn some English songs. <music> Unit Eight. What are you reading? One. What is your favorite story? Aladdin and the Magic Lamp. Two. What is Linda doing? 
She's playing badminton with her friends. 3. What is Peter reading? He's reading books. 4. What's your favourite character? Snow White. One. Where are you going? I'm going to the zoo. Two. What are you doing? I'm learning English. Three. What's Peter reading? He's reading books. Four. What's your favourite colour? I like blue. Five. When's your birthday? It's on the 1st of March. The Goose and the Golden Egg There was once a countryman who owned the most wonderful goose you can imagine. Every day, when he visited the nest, the goose had laid a beautiful, glittering, golden egg. The countryman took the eggs to the market and soon began to get rich. But he quickly got impatient because the goose gave him only one egg a day. He was not getting rich fast enough. Then, one day, after counting his money, he thought he could get all the golden eggs at once by killing the goose and got the egg. But when he killed the goose, he found no eggs, and the precious goose was dead. From then on, he became poor. Unit 9 What did you see at the zoo? One When did you go to the zoo? I went to the zoo yesterday. Two Who did you go with? I went with my friends. 3. What did you see at the zoo? I saw lots of animals. 4. What did the monkeys do when you were there? They jumped up and down. One. What are your favourite animals? I like pandas. Two. Did you go to the zoo yesterday? Yes, we did. Three. What did you see at the animal show? I saw the lions jumping through a burning hoop. 4. How many monkeys are there in the zoo? There are 10. 5. 
What did the elephants do when you were there? They ate their food. A day in the zoo. Mark and Sophie walked around the city zoo. When they first arrived, they went to the lion's cage. There was a new lion. He was beautiful, with a long tail and big brown eyes. When the lion saw them, it opened its mouth and showed its teeth. Then, they went to the monkeys' area. Sophie bought them some bananas and fed them slowly. The monkeys were very funny. They threw banana peels on each other and jumped from branch to branch. Then, Sophie and Mark felt thirsty. They bought two cokes. On the way home, they talked a lot about the animals. Unit 10. When will sports day be? 1. When will sports day be? It'll be on Saturday. 2. What's your favourite sport? I like volleyball. 3. What is Tony going to do on sports day? He's going to play table tennis. 4. What is Mai going to do on sports day? She's going to play badminton. One. What are they going to do on sports day? They are going to play football. Two. What is he going to do on sports day? He's going to play table tennis. Three. What is she going to do on sports day? She's going to swim. 4. What's your favourite sport? I like soccer. 5. What is her favourite game? She likes hide and seek. Running. There are some reasons why running becomes a popular form of exercise for many people. For example, it is something everyone knows how to do already, so no special training is needed for it. Secondly, you can run anywhere. You should wear a good pair of shoes. You can run when you travel. Running is also something you could do at any time, during a lunch hour or in the early morning. <laughs>